This is breaking Democrat suck news. It's just pretty stunning. So just so so people get it, this is a tweet. So Nancy Pelosi, this is a tweet by Michael Stratford. He's an, he's an educational reporter at Politico. So I guess uh, Nancy Pelosi was asked about um, canceling student debt, and here was her response. That would be an attitude that people would have, but even take it on top of that, suppose your family was not, your child just decided they want to, at this time, not want to go to college, but you're paying taxes to forgive somebody else's uh, uh, obligations, you, you may not be happy about that. But you know what? We want all of our kids to reach their fulfillment. Uh, to the extent uh, that they want to go to college, we do not want them to be prohibited from doing that for financial reasons. I've had high school students come in here and say with their grades, they're able to be accepted in the Ivy League here and there, but their family's e economic situation does not enable that to happen because That's not they the have question. to stay close no, to, I, to work and be part of the family situation. So what we'd like to do is have an economy that is fair, that gives opportunity and does not hold anybody back because of financial reasons. And, and again, how some people may view uh, the uh, relieving people of this what obligation uh, has to be viewed talking in about? a fair way where we have something uh, that gives opportunity. That's the big word, opportunity to all of America's family. What the yeah. fuck? That's such a word, neoliberal word salad. Yeah. No, I but. hate that argument. It's so disingenuous. This is a part of the- It's so unfair the, the, for you to, for, you know, if we cancel student debt, then you're gonna be paying taxes to forgive someone else's obligations. You may not be happy about that. How many things, Rashida Tlaib actually did a pretty good tweet in response to that. Suppose your child did not want to f go fight c countless and endless shadow wars across the globe at this time, but you're paying taxes to fund all of that. You may not be happy about it. The no longer all that gradual transformation of the Democratic Party into the Republican Party of 10 years ago yeah. or 12 or 15 years ago is, um, you know, is becoming like more and more conspicuous all the time. So it, disgusting. With the student debt thing, by the way, I heard an interesting thing because I, I did a big story on that last week. Right now, there's this moratorium on student loan payments that's supposed to end in September, but the expectation is that there's, it's gonna be delayed again. There's some feeling that it might even be delayed beyond next November, because there's some concern about the Democrats turning the, uh, the payments back on, you know, before the midterms. There's also kind of some fear about the question, well, Trump turned off the payments, how come you can't keep the payments turned? Right. right. So they're a little bit afraid of that. The longer this goes on, the less realistic it is it's going to be for the lenders to actually collect, you know, anything like a realistic fraction of what of the $1.7 trillion owed. So the longer they delay, like maybe they could realistically collect 400 million now. Mm -hmm. But if they wait another two years, it might drop to 200 million. And there are some people who are activists in this space who think that they might actually get to a place where they where they've waited so long that the industry will just end up in some kind of a compromise with the, the Democratic Party either, and there, maybe even the Republican Party, too. Like, it's just not worth it at this point. This is a step we're probably going to have to take it anyway. And if we're only going to collect a couple hundred million out of this gigantic amount. I don't know. I just think that's an interesting dynamic to this whole thing, which is they're clearly unable to come to a decision to forgive this debt or to do anything about it. But they also are boxed in by the fact that people aren't pay making the payments now. So they, they can't keep that up forever. Right. Know? So I don't know, I think that's interesting. It's just every time that thing, that spoken word rant she went on just for opportunity. And so wound up on that word. It's just such bullshit. Also, the they always go back to well, people need the opportunity to go to college. That's not the issue. The right. issue the issue is what happens to people five years yeah. after they get out of school, and they they owe this massive amount of money that they'll never be able to pay back. Congratulations for sending all those kids to college, but that's not the issue. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. No. No, it's just a dodge. Right. She's good at those, though. Yeah, she's pretty good even though she fumbled a little bit. Have you noticed that when she when she has a particularly difficult question that she her eyes kind of 
widen a little bit like even more than usual because they're already yeah. pretty wide but yeah but she she she's almost got she tries to give the sort of in, innocent lost in the woods kind of look right lost in the woods robbing your children of their money hello thank you so much for listening to and watching useful idiots for full episodes and extended interviews please subscribe at usefulidiots.substack.com you can subscribe on youtube at youtube.com slash useful idiots for clips live streams and full episodes also subscribe to us wherever you find your podcast follow us on twitter at useful idiot pod and use the hashtag useful idiots pod Join us Mondays at 10 a.m. for the Useful Idiots Monday Morning Show, where we discuss the Sunday morning news shows so you don't have to watch them. 